The question says the given catonic complex ion is diamagnetic, paramagnetic, square planar and none of this. Okay, one of the question is asking about hybridization, geometry or magnetic properties, always use valence bond theory. Okay, always use valence bond theory. To apply valence bond theory, we follow the simple steps. First of all, you should write the oxidation number of a central metal atom and then you write electronic configuration of central metal ion is there then you should write orbital notation third step orbital notation for the central metal ion and in the last you should consider the effect of ligand okay effect of ligand whether we have a strong field ligand a weak field ligand a strong field ligand means pairing of electron we do not follow Hund's rule and if weak field ligand is there no pairing of electron okay follow this step first of all we calculate the oxidation number of the central metal atom okay we can see chromium is the central metal atom we have chromium cr it is what ns3 neutral ligand hole 6 and overall charge we have plus 3 is there okay calculate oxidation number for the chromium total charge is what plus 3 cr there are six ammonia molecule and this is a neutral ligand will have zero charge crp is present in plus three oxidation numbers okay so from here we got the chromium present in plus three oxidation numbers next step we follow writing electronic configuration for the central metal ion now it is present in the ionic form if we consider its charge okay pay attention carefully chromium Atomic number is, we have chromium atomic number 24. If we write electronic configuration, it will be 3D5, 4, S1 is there. Okay. Due to half field rule, we are getting this electronic configuration. Now it is losing how many electrons? 3 electrons. It has plus 3 charge. Then electronic configuration will be 1 electron from here, 2 electron from here, overall 3. So it will be 3D3 is there. This is the electronic configuration. Next step we have to follow. That is what writing orbital notation. Very interesting part. Okay. For C earth 3 plus. C R 3 plus. Okay. We have to write orbital notation. First we have D orbital. How many boxes are there? we have five boxes okay then uh, this is your 3d 4s vacant and then we have 4p is there 4p now pay attention carefully in d how many electrons are there three electrons are there before filling these electrons in these orbital you must consider the effect of ligand whether a strong field ligand is there weak filling and there weak filling and there so in the complex you can see ammonia molecule is there now pay attention very carefully if ammonia molecule, this neutral ligand, if this neutral ligand is attached to, we have cadmium, cobalt, yeah, copper, yeah, iron. Okay. With these central metal atom, if a neutral molecule, okay, neutral ligand ammonia is attack, attached, if ammonia neutral ligand is attached to any of these central metal atom, acts as strong field ligand, acts as strong field ligand. With remaining metals, with remaining metals, it acts as a weak field ligand. Okay, very interesting part because this question is quite crucial. Okay, so you can see CR is there. We do not have CR in this list of okay special metals with which neutral ligand ammonia acts as a strong field ligand means in this case in this case we have to consider ammonia as a weak field uh, weak filling in means no pairing of electron will be taking place okay no pairing of electrons so now we have uh, no pairing of electron means we should follow the Hohn's rule orbitals are singly filled okay so in this case uh, first electron then second electrons and third electron is there okay third electrons now if you look at here any species in which unpaired electrons are present that species will be paramagnetic by nature it has unpaired electrons you can see we are getting unpaired because we are considering ammonia neutral ligand as a as a weak field again if i consider a strong field again so then it will be less paramagnetic because you know these two spin will get paired pay attention very carefully so here we consider ammonia as a weak field again hence we are getting as a paramagnetic by nature because it is having unpaired electrons you can see by following these simple steps we are able to answer whether it is paramagnetic or diamagnetic okay so this cationic complex is what we have 
वी हैव पैरा मैग्नेटिक बाई नेचर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट वी हैव ऑप्शन सी एनी वे इट कैन नॉट बी स्क्वायर प्लानर बिकॉज हियर वी हैव को आर इन नंबर सिक्स सो इट विल बी ऑब्वियसली ऑक्टा हेडल बाई नेचर ओके सो हियर वी हैव द पैरा मैग्नेटिक बिकॉज इट हैज अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कीप इन माइंड एज द नंबर ऑफ अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इनक्रीजेज पैरा मैग्नेटिक करेक्टर फॉर द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑल्सो इनक्रीजेज If you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel